Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Lord Lance. It's your boy Knox. Your boy JR. Snoopy. Lishi. Oh, my Vicks. And you're watching Take Flight. That's yeah. your friend. Suck my Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Wings of Take Flight. We're here with 43 Zone, Lissy, bro. Howdy. Thanks for having us, Carl. Tell them where we're at, bro. Yeah, no, we're in Goodna. Uh, just at uh, my auntie's house. Hey! She's got a big garage, so I thought we'd use it, because uh, my garage is full. <laughs> Boys, hang out, obviously. You got some good vibes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other day, your auntie's got some mad shoes. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's my cousin's, my cousin. No, nah, I appreciate you having us here, bro. Man, coming through to somewhere like this is not often we'd pull up to uh, yeah. good now. Oh, uh, what would you? Nothing here. Bro, listen, bro, the billboard. The billboard's yeah, still there. Yeah, That's yeah. mad since, how long's it been since uh, Perspective drops? I think November, November 17th or something. So you had a good yeah. three months of a billboard, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah when much. it got put up, did you have the whole boys down there taking photos? <laughs> oh, yeah, we went and saw it. I mean, like, it was, it was, it was amazing. It was, it was like buzzy, but, you know. It's so a next level up, pretty, bro. It's leveling up. Yeah, yeah, leveling yeah, it up. is, it is. How have things been up here through COVID, man? Like the last, say, six months, what have you been doing with yourself? Man, everyone has been catching COVID, like, yeah. Fuck. I saw you pump the, uh, went back, kicked it back old school, came back with the Instagram yeah, video I yesterday. I, you know, I thought I'd kick it off for uh, like a, like how I used to do it back in the yeah. day, how it started off. Uh, but that was actually stemmed from uh, the, the night before mm. I wrote that verse. I was like um, watching Battle Rap, yeah. URL, American stuff. Mm. And I just got inspired by, you know, how they use their, their bars and stuff and, and the wordplay and, and all that. So yeah, I, I wrote that verse and then I thought, you know what? It's not to be a waste of a verse because, you know, it's, it's, it's on a beat that's not made for me. It's, okay. it's off YouTube and I was like, might as well just chuck it up on Instagram. Kick it back to old yeah, school, yeah, bro. Yeah. And it's Kick got some good love already. To yeah, start yeah. off 2022 with a, a mobile phone video, getting a uh, bunch of love, it's a good start to the year. People were like, yeah, Lissy, old Lissy's back. Hey, Lissy's people here. love it, bro. Yeah, he never left, man. Fuck, he's still here. <laughs> Um, what was I gonna say, bro? <laughs> so, you've been making music, hanging out with the boys. Have you hit the pub much? Hit the pub? Nah, because of COVID. COVID's been fucking everyone in the ass, so. Bro. You know, just been drinking at home. Yeah. Um, yeah, just drinking at home. Just, you know, it's better when you drink at home too, because, like, you know, it's just. No um, restrictions, Yeah, bro. no restrictions. You no, know, you're getting told to sit down. You don't know, have to be told to get out unless it's not your house. Uh, and the benders never... Yeah, you go for days and days, but yeah, I don't recommend that, eh? No, but in that. saying that, you say you haven't been to the pub much, but I swear I saw you there the other day, man. Other day? I swear to God. <laughs> but I was sitting in bed, bro, scrolling through TikTok. Scrolling. TikTok? I was scrolling through TikTok, and there was this girl, man, and she's like, guys, I just woke up from uh, a crazy dream, bro. Yeah. Woke up from a crazy dream. Yeah. I saw uh, Lissy <laughs> wrestling his friend on the ground at the pub. <laughs> quick, sw quick switch. You're wrestling your mate, bro. Is this a, a common occurrence? Oh, no, so we were watching the UFC. We were watching uh, Dustin Poirier versus Charles Oliveira. Yeah, yeah. And uh, man, that, that started in the morning, so and we were supporting because uh, Todd Two Russell was on that um oh, yeah, that card as well. So we went in the morning to catch his fight, and there was no breakfast. We just started straight on the jugs, so we were just having schooners and. And then <laughs> yeah, got to the by head, the time bro. we got to that, started at about 10 a.m. By the time we got to about 3 p.m. Yeah, we're all fucking rolling around on the ground. <laughs> Good trying, vibes, Trying to wrestle each other for a hundred bucks, and uh, I guess, yeah. Did you win? I lost a hundred bucks. Wow, oh, stitch up. Shout yeah. out to whoever won that hundred bucks. Yeah, Maverick the dog is... Surely you bought you a schooner out of that, man. Yeah, no, he did. We ended up buying more jokes, so... Good guy. Win-win, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Another thing I saw, bro, since that COVID experience is Foot Locker, bro. Everyone's yeah. getting that JD Sports sponsor, but you pulled up and uh, went yeah. left field, brought oh. Foot Locker back. How'd that, how'd that come about? I don't know, hey, look, it, it was just... Um, they just hit me up. Yeah? Yeah, because I, I, I don't really, like endorsement deals and stuff, they, yeah. they, I don't really like know much about that. And, mm. You know, like, um, I've only just started before this, this JD and for Locker, okay. you know. Um, modeling is not my thing. <laughs> Obviously, bro. Yeah, 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 but look, really. you come across looking mad. Shout out Moonboy for doing yeah, a mad video yeah, to bro. Yeah, 100%. They, they, made us, they made me look sexier than I actually am, so. <laughs> Yeah, no, right. and yeah, I got the, the feet for some mad shoes. I don't know if yeah, you know, right. some good shoes, but yeah, we keep it old school here. Hey, right. Bro. Stick to the roots, no yeah. stress. All right, let's take it back a bit, man. You're born New Zealand. Yeah. Moved to Sydney. Yeah. Moved to Goodna. Yeah. How are you still going for the Rabbitohs and the Blues, bro? Don't the boys Mate, give you so uh, much come shit? Come on, yeah, no, they do, they do. But you don't switch up when you know. Like, I, I was, I've been watching footy since I was about five years old. Yeah. They moved here when I was like 13, 14, like, and 
I'm not gonna switch up. You like stuck that. to your guns, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, That's just, it. The boys give you shit, yeah. but they can't be giving you shit when you just uh, yeah, exactly, beat their yeah. ass I'm not just, long ago. Hey, I'm loyal, man. I just gotta be loyal. Nah, I don't wanna cool. be a gronk and just be like, yeah, nah, Queensland, Maroons. Bro, you fit the vibe yeah. of the, the New South Wales. <laughs> don't worry, we got you. No, I do, I do. Thank you. All right, so each one of those places you grew up, bro, how do you think each one of those influenced the guy you are today? Like, each one influenced you differently? The different vibes and the different people that I've yep. met from, from each, each um, you know, state or country is, yeah. is, is sort of what shaped me to be who I am. It's, it's sort of taught me to like be like this person or don't be like this person, you yeah. know, like things like that I pick up. Things you see on the street oh and you think, do I want to be in that situation or like, you know, like what am I, am I just going to walk past that? Am I just going to go help out? Like yeah. uh, th that's the character building that you, 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 you get from living in these, these sort of, you know, For sure. um, environments and, and I guess that's, yeah. That's I feel like it's turned made. you into a, a pretty fucking good guy, man. Oh, in well, in, in my words, <laughs> honestly, yeah. so it's been well. That's only on camera. Was, but, yeah, <laughs> off camera. Um, <laughs> I, I've seen you mention before you grew up in a pretty decent home, yeah? Yeah, I have, yeah. Does growing up in a decent home influence the way of the music you make, man, and the, the kind of person you want to portray in your songs? Yeah, it does. It does really because like, well, Decent home being like a decent family, but there was a time when we weren't like in an actual decent home. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, it was pretty, pretty rough and stuff. But you know. But again, uh, that's character building, man. Yeah, that's character building. And but but what, like how it influences my music is that my parents they didn't make me feel like I was poor one day. You know, like you know, it, it was like I was grateful. Um, you know, they made me. They told me to be grateful. They told me to to make the most of what I have, and they told me to you know just look around and see what you have and and appreciate. The, the blessings that you got rather than like you know being down about what you don't have that's mad and you, you see it in my music like that's, that's exactly course. what i rap about and it's the stuff that i i try to push through my music is the stuff that i learned from being in that decent home or for, or for a decent family you know? that's good bro you yeah. need those different influences I'm in the sure. music world so yeah. it's good to see man again i heard you mention before you've uh you grew up you heard pistol p and enzo back like yeah. the, the high school, yeah? Yeah. Were they one of the first Aussie artists? Was there another Aussie artist that you uh, first heard and were like, this is actually mad? So it was actually Pistol Pete and Enzo Hooligan Hefts and One Four back when I was in high school. And these were the first uh, poly Aussies that I heard. Yeah, yeah, you know? so that's where it kicked off. Yeah. For you, anyway. And I, and I guess that's when I was like, man, I was the biggest fan of, of, of all of us. Yeah, still a massive fan of them, I'm saying, but like, as a, as, a, as a kid, when I would listen to that, I would be like, man, like, these guys are doing something, you yeah. know, they're exactly like us, they're, 100%. you know, they're just, um, um, you know, they're like around the same age, sort of. Yeah, um, yeah. And they're, they're making um, moves in the music scene. So I was like, yeah, I was, I was fascinated by it. I was like, it's crazy, it's crazy. Because I knew that I could rap too, so hopefully That's one it. day, you know, I could be on st like on a screen like that and, you know, people would be playing me in the background and and all that stuff and, and then you songs. could influence the future generation yeah, exactly, right? that's exactly. the goal that's and honestly now, the goal you know i guess we're here <laughs> yeah but did you ever rap in an american accent when you were younger because i saw a lot of people out here did man and yeah. made that mad switch up um see the thing was i did um but i wasn't good at it yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's good yeah, man so, yeah, it, yeah, it was, showed you had to be yourself huh yeah it was it was really bad like the accent it was i tried it once or twice but but yeah, no, I was, uh, so I, I guess when I first made uh, my videos, I was like, man, fuck it, I'm just gonna rap how I feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. Well, look, it's good that it came early for you because a lot of people out there took them, what? Well, yeah. most of Australia, a lot of years, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, it's good to see everyone now because everyone's coming out naturally. Look yeah. how it's grown we'll, since. We've we'll found our, our identity, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, now we're, we're comfortable with just speaking our native um, accent and, yeah. you know, don't really have to put on that, that front. So yeah, it's, it's, it's the only way now. we're gonna grow, man. Hundred percent. Yeah. Now they know it's Australian when they hear it. That's mad, bro. Yeah. We're going worldwide. It's already started. Come on. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Like, uh, you, you did say less, man. Right? Yeah. Way back, what? Two thousand nineteen. Yeah. yeah no man. mix, no master. Nah. You put it out at blue. Yeah. How is that? You can look back, what, two and a half years? Yeah. And the growth since then. Oh, how, how does it make you feel to see the growth? Man, when I listen to say less now, I, I, I actually cringe. Like, yeah. I'm like, what did I do? I mean, like, it's, it was at the time, it was, it was a bit. I listened to it this morning, it's still hard. Oh, yeah. It's still like, hard. I get it, no mix, no muscle, yeah. but it's hard. At the time, like, oh, people, people were like, they loved it, oh, they still love it, but when I listen to it and I see the, the improvement that I made in my, my pen game, and not only that, just my delivery, like, the, the creative side of, of like, you know, putting ad libs here and, you know, like doubling up on, on, on vocals here. When I listen to Say Less, I'm like, man, that was so horrible. But, you know, it got me where I am today, so. You had to start somewhere. Yeah. And what a start, bro. Yeah, for, for it to go that big in such a short amount yeah, of time. Yeah. Bro, crazy. I agree. So with Say Less, 
I heard you talk in the past about you didn't have much confidence in releasing it. You just, yeah. You just thought, fuck, I better do it, all right? Yeah. So I held it in my back pocket for a while. It was, mm. it, was, it was made in July, but I dropped it in October. Yeah. And I was just, it was just because I was like, one, I was scared of backlash. To this day, when mm. I drop a song, even when I drop Perspective, I was mm-hmm. like, man, I'm so like, I just get these butterflies inside of like whether it's gonna do good or whether people will, you know, criticize it. And of course, people are gonna criticize. It. I mean, that that's normal. But it's still, you know, it's still in the back of my head. Like, of course. But it's like, it's 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 a good feeling though because it, it makes me, it keeps me grounded, you know? Yeah, it's but like, you've got a bit more confidence in you now when yeah, it comes to releasing. 100%, 100%. The butterfly's a good thing. I mean, you care about it. Yeah, it does, it does. And it's like, you know, it makes sure, it makes me know that, you know, I, I know I'm not at a, at a point now where I'm just gonna drop stuff and be like, yeah, it's gonna pop off. Oh, okay, like, that's, that's good. That's why, that's why I like the butterflies. That's why I like it. It, it, it keeps me grounded and keeps yeah. me humble. Um, but yeah, I forgot the question. No, 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 you answered it. You answered it properly, yeah. but don't worry. Something would have gave you mad confidence, well, I think so. Oh, yeah. Was um, T-Pain, bro. Pulled yeah, up reacting yeah. to dreams. Yeah. Bro, not only did he try and react to it, he sat there trying to mimic the flow. Yeah. How did it feel to have a legend like that come through, listen, not only listen, but appreciate what you've done? Oh, look, I was buzzing. I was actually, yeah, I was, I was grateful that he, had, he got the chance to see it. And whoever shouted that out on the Discord, was it Discord or Twitch? One yeah, yeah. Disc- no, Twitch, I think. Yeah, well, sh- shout out to you too. I love you. But, um, Whoever it was, yeah. comment on this video, let us know. Thank you. Let Thank us you know. Let's... But yeah, no, when he saw it, I was like, man, that's crazy. You know, you're growing up and you're listening, like from like a little kid, bro. I was like six or seven when he was dropping songs. Mm. And then you see him like reacting to the music that you make, and it's like, fuck it. And enjoying it, bro. Yeah, really yeah enjoying it, man. And so I was like, but it just ruined it when he said, like, is he from New Zealand? Oh, oh come bro, on, man. this guy, man. He had that with everyone, but I mean, yeah, everyone there, he looked at any island, yeah, and was yeah. like, oh, New Zealand, New yeah. Zealand. Well, I feel like he'll start to learn now. He's hooking up with some Aussie artists, yeah, now, he is, eh? he is. which is cool. Yeah. Um, you went there last year during the COVID period over yeah. here, you went there? Just before we went into lockdown. Okay. So we made it back and then we went into lockdown here, but I was like, yeah, sweet. Yeah, you play any shows or just appearances? Nah, just a club appearance. Um, we just did a club appearance at Club Kong. Yeah. You know, um, Britta Mart, that's where, okay. it's, that's where it is in Auckland. People rock up? Yeah, it was packed. It was pretty packed. Um, well, that's another thing, bro. How is it to go back? I know you were young when you moved from there, yeah. but back to a place where you were born and now you rock, rock up and yeah, people yeah. show mad love. Yeah, so I, I was going back and forth to see family and, mm-hmm. and to, um, you know, um, go for funerals and, and weddings and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But yeah, when, we, when, um, when I went back for the first time since I was last been there. Yeah. It was almost like a new experience. Like I've never been there before. It's just because of how different it was for me. Yeah. Uh, just seeing like how much love and how much fans I have over there. Mm. Um, and I was I was buzzing. I was like, man, it's like I'm not this even. This is mad. Like I don't recognize this place. You know? yeah. But but I've been here how many times? You know. So yeah, it was it was a real new experience for me. Yeah. You got a, a much family over? Yeah, I got a lot of family over there. I got, um, yeah, I've got a lot of family over there. But what are they like? Much. Are they like, bro, everyone's listening yeah, to your yeah, shit out yeah, here? Yeah. Are they little, proud as? Little cousins that are, that are like, go to school and they'll be like, yeah, at least he's my cousin. Oh. But, you know, all the kids, they're like, <laughs> everyone's oh, cousin. Like, oh, they don't believe him. Yeah, they don't oh, believe him. Bro, poor cousin. Oh, yeah, shout out Lissy's cousin, bro. <laughs> show, this, show this to your friends. Yeah, you can prove it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, you're a positive influence, man. Like, throughout your music, not only the Islander community, but anyone who listens to your songs, it sounds like you come across. Yeah. When, when you went into making music, is that the idea you had? That you wanted to be that guy? Yeah, or it just yeah. naturally came? I mean, uh, like, it just came off the, the, the artists that I was influenced by. Um, you know, Kendrick Lamar, mm. J. Cole, people like Joey Badass, um, just pure talent, talented rappers. Yeah. Um, that always you know, had a bit of substance in the, in the, in the, in the lyrics and in the, in the music. And that's what I sort of wanted to be for the Polynesians. I mean, you know, because everyone that's been stepping on the scene has got something to talk about in terms of the streets and in terms of the struggle, in terms of, you know, doing crime and, you know. Yeah. And it's fair enough, like, if that's your story, that's their life. Tell, tell her how it is. But for me, I wanted to be different. I wanted to stand out. And I just wanted to be who I wanted to be. And, yeah. And that's, that's, yeah, that's sort of. Well, you stay true to yourself, but that's the best you can do, man. Of course, man. Who else are you going to get on here that's going to wear this shit? And hey! Shoes, you know. <laughs> no one's as real yeah. as Lissy right now. Come yeah. on. Yeah. No one else is coming on this show in the cut with a, a Cobra. Yeah, no exactly. one. No one. Yeah. Um, well, not only positive influence to your music, but I see you out in the field doing things. I saw you down at uh, Ipswich High talking to the boys. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw you do <laughs> a Queensland rail safety message. Yeah. How? Uh, 
Mate, how did I that come apart? I have no idea, to be honest. That is mate. the most random thing possible for But my management team were like, mate, publicity is... Any, pub, any publicity is good publicity, so... And it's for a good purpose, I guess. Yeah, and it's for a good cause, so I guess it was, it was like, you know... Um, got, got to go around schools and talk to schools and, yeah. and stuff. Not only just talk about, you know, the whole campaign and stuff, but they also got to see, um, like, a bit more about myself and... You know the rap stuff, and hopefully they they, they picked up on that and yeah. thought you know maybe I could do it one day. I'll, Get down yeah. a good path. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, that's that, cool. that was the main the main purpose for that whole that whole campaign was to just reach out, I guess. Yeah. Uh, as, for people to get to know me, also the kids as well, and yeah, yeah. it was good. Let's let's go into perspectives a little bit. I don't know if you've talked much yeah. about perspectives yet. Yeah? Snakes, go. man. Yeah. Snakes in the grass, sort of like cut. Yeah, yeah, cut. Yeah. Um, we've all been there, man. Those people around us. Yeah. Is this a personal kind of thing, or is this a, a situation? Um, man, it just came about when I started rapping, and I just started to see my, oh, not my circle. My circle still was yeah. still the same, but it was more so like just people wanted to, you know, want to be on. my friend, and mm. you know, oh, oops, can I get a favor, or blah 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 blah. Man, and it was just, it, it was like, it was when I wasn't doing those favors and the and the, like being open to those random people who wanted to come and, you know, be my mate all of a sudden. Mm. That's when I started to hear the, ah, oh, fuck, this is, a, he's, you know, this is a, he's a gronk. The standard know. response yeah, to not helping you know, people, bro. Exactly, so that's when I was like, fuck. Even when I did some stuff like, um, what do you call it, like, for people, mm. and then they go and say shit behind my back, or they, they'll do something, like, oh, I won't go into detail, but, yeah, you know, they'll do stuff that, that you know, it, 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 it breaks trust and stuff, yeah. and then, like, Man, that's where the song was sort of you know, inspired from. It was just a lot of a lot of shit going on at that time because I did that song in 2020. Okay. 2020. So yeah. that's when you no, started yeah. getting a bunch of traction. Yeah, yeah. So 2020, it was it was when I wrote that song was, uh, and oh yeah, it was real personal. Yeah, okay. No, yeah, that's was, all good, bro. No details, personal, no details. No details. Like, no. It wasn't too deep, but it was like you can hear it when I'm rapping. I'm yeah. like, I'm talking my shit. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. I want, you know, I want these people that like, they know who they are. If they hear it when they hear the song, I want them to know that I'm fucking talking to them. So. That's cool, man. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All right, no time. No time, yeah. Yeah? You got, um, talking about leaving the bullshit behind, yeah? The street yeah. life behind. Again, personal experiences, you got people, maybe not in your circle, people around that yeah. try and bring you back to maybe a, a you you don't want to be? Yeah. No, 100%. I mean, like, I mean, the streets are the streets, like, you know, got, like, I was, I wasn't in the streets like, yeah. dealing drugs and, you know, killing people, but, you know, I got mates that were in it and, and about it, so. Yeah, you know, just trying to steer me yeah, in the right direction. And, 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 I, and I'd, I'd stick up for them, I'd be in, the, I'd be in you know, I'd, I'd go around right with them if, if they need me, but that was back when I was like reckless and just had nothing to lose. Yeah. You know, when I was just a kid and I was, I was young and, oh, not young, I was only like two years ago. <laughs> but, like, you know, but like, in the last two years, like with yeah. Sid, the growth is massive, so you can't risk the... Exactly, and that's what I say is like, I've got way too much on the line, way too much on my mind is just, Talk about I've got a whole music career, I've got a label now, I've got, I've got a family to feed, and man, I can't risk that all just because I want to go, and, you know, Do back, some back the boys, you know. Like yeah. I mean, I back the boys to the day I die, but sometimes you got to play smart. Yeah. But you doing that can uh, kind of alter what they're doing in the background. Yeah, exactly. Too. And I want people to not only see that it's not my experience too, but it should be theirs as well. Like yeah. if you got footy or you got, um, you know, you got a good job on the line, like. Like a, or you want to be a fighter and you can't fight outside of the ring and stuff like that. But you got boys in there that are trying to bring you, drag you back into that shit. And man, just think about what you got to lose. And yeah, that's that's, that's a of, good answer, bro. Yeah, that's what I had to bring across in that message. You did it well, man. You yeah. did it. All right, tell the truth, bro. <sighs> Pretty straight to the point. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna ask you yeah. who it's about, but. Were there yeah. people in mind while doing this, or is it just across? Hundred percent, mate. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of uh, candy wrappers that are. There's a lot. Yeah, just just uh, what's the the word I'm trying to look for? It's, uh, like plastic bars. Yeah. Oh, not bars. Just plastic lyrics. And it's I guess you know there's I mean? there's some people making a big in the drill scene and whatnot. Yeah. Where they hear it and probably think, oh, this is what we have to do. Yeah, and and fair enough. Like I mean, oh, I don't know. No. It just, uh, it was a, for me it was like, it, you know, like a cringe moment. Yeah, where yeah, you hear of someone that's rapping and it's like, fuck, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know? To put it simply, yeah, shut yeah, the that, fuck that's up. That's pretty much what it is. It's just like, you know, you don't do this, you don't do that. Um, 
But you know, he said, own. like I said, I made that song because I wanted to make that song. Yeah. Um, and if I said at the start, like, if you feel like it was aimed at you, it's probably you. Like, That's it? Yeah, so if the shoe fits, wear it. Yeah. <laughs> All That's right, man. If it ain't me. Yeah. Kenyon Brown, bro. I'm also there. Yeah. yeah. How, how was it to link up with someone like that who's been making music for a minute, man? man I've, been, I've been a massive fan of uh, Kenyon Brown. I've been listening to him since I was like a young kid, man, like 15 years old. Yeah. And um, to have the, the honor and privilege to... Because he, he wanted to be on the track with me. So like... Oh, so it yeah, started with I, him. I showed him the beat. Yeah. I was like, man, like, listen to this. And he was like, oh, like... Yeah, let's do something with that. And I was like, oh, fuck, yes, Stella. Yes, please. Like, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Like, oh, that, 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 his man. vocals are hard. He's a good guy. He's been doing it for years, but you know what? You go listen to his back catalog, like what he started with, man. He's, he's been doing what he's doing now, and it's only just starting to pop off now. Yeah. Like, he's been doing it for ages. A long time, yeah. man. If he, but, I'm hoping this uh, yeah. is his year to, to yeah. pop off. Like, have yeah. you seen him out in the communities and stuff? So oh, of course, it's yeah. good. Same no, he's been doing it for ages. That's you know? what I mean. He's been doing the regional tours. Yeah, he's the man. Like, uh, he's, he's someone I look up to as well, um, Kenny Brown. Um, yeah, but I was, I was to have him on that track. I was real, real blessed to, to let him do a hook. And how did how did you come was, across him? Like back in the day, just someone you listened to? That's a, oh, w w listening. Well, it's like how did I pick him up? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just around. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he was big on SoundCloud, and I was I was like listening to all the SoundCloud sounds back then. Um, you know, 2011 to 12 and 13 and on. Yeah. I was like big on my SoundCloud and I saw him and saw Donnell Lewis. And yeah, them, yeah. Like them boys, they were working together and, and I sort of picked up on, um, you know, their, their music and that's where I started to, to... It's also funny too, because I picked up some stuff from their music that sort of helped me into my music, you know, like, and, and that's what, that's what, um, yeah, I've been a fan ever since. And, it's a good moment, bro. Yeah, good to have him on a song, I was like, damn, that's crazy. Legend, bro. Even to, like, I drink, I've drank with the bloke, you know, yeah. you know? like, he's a, he's a good, good guy. He's a good, good guy. Yeah. Man, shout out Kenya, man. Yeah, shout, shout out Kenya, shout out Donnie, shout out all the boys. Yeah, yeah everyone. All right, last one off there that we'll talk about. Till the death, man. Ah, uh, yes. Till the death. Storytelling vibe, man. You, you love that thing, yeah. right? You love that style. It isn't personally your story. Yeah. I've, I've seen you talk about, but how important is, is what you talked about in that song? How close is that to your heart to get that message out there? Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's big, it's, it's because um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of kids, uh, not only just Brisbane, but you know, Sydney, Melbourne, you know, all over Australia, and maybe even New Zealand as well, um, where the wrong, the wrong, like, wrong place, wrong time sort of moment for yeah. the wrong people, but they're only there because of, like I said, like, you know, how I write for the boys and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, and that, that's the same as them, but then they lose their lives and stuff. So we, we had a kid that, I got stabbed, I think, last year. Um, and yeah, it was just a wrong place, wrong time. He was just there with some mates, and some of his mates got into a, you know, a situation where a knife was pulled out, and he was there to back his mate, and you know, he lost his lost his life, and you know, um, rest in peace, the whistle. But but yeah, no, so that's sort of where the song was uh, inspired from. <clears throat> it was just stories like that. You know, they 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 they're gonna be heard for for kids to listen to and realize that. You don't just affect yourself with this 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 gangster shit, you know. You got a whole family and friends yeah, around you. Yeah, you got man. people that are, that love you, that want to help you throughout whatever, and then when they do, it affects them. And yeah. So nah, cool. Yeah, man. That, was the, that was the message behind that. Well, as long as you're on your positive vibes all the time, inspiring music, you got some hard bars, man. Yeah. Some of your hardest bars have to be with the, the boy chilling at Mao. Mao also there, yeah, yeah, 100%. How did the first link up come? <laughs> like, how, who reached out to who? Where did it come from? Yeah, so Nick, uh, Nick Lupi. Yeah. Shout out Nick. Um, hit up, hit up, well, uh, hit up Ezra. Yeah. He messaged Ezra and he was like, man, um, I think Chill wants to do a song with Lissy. But bear in mind, I, like, I knew of chilling it. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, COVID. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, I knew of chilling it. Like I've, I've seen his stuff, but it never occurred to me that he like uh, we would make a collab. And only because he was so far in the game. Like this, this is like five. This is 2020, so my first year. Yeah. And he's like four years deep, five years deep, and so. And he reached straight out. And he reached out. He's like, oh, he thought maybe he'd want to do a track, and I was like, man, that's crazy. I was like, oh, yeah, sweet. Like sent through the track, so he sent through the beat. I didn't like the beat. Okay. <clears throat> that wasn't my vibe, at least, because if I don't hear what's on it, like, then I'm, all I can try and hear is myself, and yeah. I didn't really hear myself. Just, yeah. um, but then Nick was like, oh, sorry, that was the wrong file. Oh. 
So I sent through the demo, which had Chill's verse on it. Once I heard Chill's verse, I was like, Let's go! <laughs> let's like, go! Yeah, fucking I fear. Let, let's, let's, let's give this a crack. So, uh, you know, I, I, I got the bit of the demo, and there, there was that open verse left. That same, maybe two, within two days or two nights, uh, uh, I just wrote the verse, mm -hmm. and I thought, Fuck, man, I gotta come, like, proper on this track is like one the children are massive following if of people course. are impressed with my raps they would like you know sort of your fan base can yeah, grow overnight grow kind of thing heavily and and then two it's chilling man like you can't just fucking come off a lazy verse you gotta you gotta really step your game up so that, that's what i wrote my verse i got in the studio at like 2 a.m with ezra and we recorded it sent it off then i think like the next day he was like but this is crazy like this yeah. is gonna go off and then i was like fuck Thanks it's for that simple. Like, I was just grateful. Bro, now you got a gold record, yeah, man. Yeah, I know. Bro, congrats, man. Chill, Another goal. Awesome, shout out Chill, man. Yeah. In our interview with Chill, yeah. um, you said the track Run the Ball. Yeah. I asked him if he would run it straight at you. He reckons <laughs> he's a chopper. He could hit your legs and take you down. What's your thoughts? Ah. Oh. Come on. Well, we've got to see that. We've got to see it. I'm in Sydney Studios. When you're in Sydney. Hey, <laughs> it's that ball already, brother. We'll be waiting. We'll be waiting. He's already done the goodness slap. We've heard about this yeah, one. So nah. we need to see this one now, man. We need to see oh, this one. You want shit? Oh, bro. You want shit? A <laughs> few more beers, bro. A few yeah, more nah. beers. Um, nah, that's cool. We'll get the video up. Don't worry. Sydney next. <laughs> you got any other collabs on the way or any that you just want to make happen in 2022? It's early, man. Uh, yeah. If you can't talk about what's oh, the ones you want to do. You know, we'll see. I don't know what, what's happening. I want to. I know I want to work with Young and Lips. Yeah. Um, you know, he's been popping off recently. He's doing some good shit, and I like I like his sound. You know. Right. I feel like he's doing that um, like that melodic rap stuff, like yeah. stuff style. He's real good at what he does. Yeah. Man. Um, I guess I'm working with him. Uh, the 046 boys, they've been working hard. Yeah. I'm banging that shit, bro. Fuck like. Been popping up. I feel 046 and the Westwood makes it. Yeah, 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 like W so a good heavy. song. It's just because we like sort of same buzz as well, like yeah. that West Coast. Yeah. Like G Funk buzz, um, Bob, you know. So mm -hmm. It'll work well. Um, anyone else, man? I would try to get him with a female. Yeah, for you sure. Know, a girl, pretty solid. She's pretty good. Oh come on. Um, Becca, Becca Hatch. Yeah, yeah. She's pretty solid. You know, Billy Marie. I've seen seen a few of her songs. She's yeah, she's solid. There's a lot of girls out there that that I feel like. Need a collab. I saw saw Sydney Youngers collab with A Girl. That was a bad song, um, you know. But I feel like the the what do you call it? The males in the industry they yeah. start collabing with females a lot more. I think be there's good, some good ones coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah hundred, definitely hundred, good hundred, ones. Hundred. Um, yeah. That was cool. What's the what's the name? Planet Vegeta. Yeah. Oh, big song? vibes, oh, bro. Solid. Big vibes. I like, love their work, even their old stuff too, like uh, on SoundCloud and yeah. stuff. Yeah, they got mad, mad music. Man, there's a lot of, there's a lot. It's, of too many, it's early 2022. Yeah, you got yeah, the time, yeah. bro. You can make it happen. 100. Yeah. percent Um, one random question, bro. I saw a picture of you having lunch with Matt Corby. Mm. What the heck's going on with them? We got a collab or what, man? That's like a back in the day icon, man. I right, surely nah, fucking Matt Corby the cat. Yeah, no, nah, he came over. Uh, he just wanted to talk some bizzo, but um, yeah, yeah, he came with a proposition. Okay. That's about it, but. Yeah, but got to meet him. I was, I was buzzing, eh? Cause yeah. And it was, I think he was shocked too, cause he was like, wouldn't think like, you know, someone like me would like want that link up. But bro, I was like, I was like, you know, almost gonna sing his songs. Like, <laughs> He's been around for yeah. a minute. He's yeah, still yeah, doing his thing. You know, I was like, when I was sitting across from him, like, man, that's actually that's Matt <laughs> Corby sitting right there. Like, somebody call out to your brother. Yeah. Nah, but when he came out, I was, I was just shocked. There, like, man. Cause he's massive. Yeah. He's huge. He's, he's not just. You know, na nationwide, he's, he's all over the world. Like. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was, it was really Matt Colby, Lissy wants in. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. All right. Career <laughs> highlight, bro. I feel like this is me saying it, but I feel yeah. like you feel sad. Career highlight for you would have to be like kicking off Castile Records. Yeah. With the boys, um, not only could sign yourself, but you yeah. went and got all your bros and signed them yeah. too. Yeah, hundred percent. What what was that like? Um, How did that make you feel to be able to just legit say fuck it, let's sign the boys, let's get this music in? Well. You know, shout out to Warner, um, you know, backing us and uh, put, ha having faith in us to, you know, start this label and get us off our feet. I think it was it was more so we were at a point in the, um, in the music game where we got a lot of uh, attention and, and a lot of, uh, they call it a lot of love and a lot of respect, but we weren't, we didn't have the resource and we didn't have the, mm -hmm. I guess, the, the funds, as you'd say, because you know, we're doing this all out of a, out of a, out of a house. Yeah. You know, um, we just built the studio last year, um, so you know, I thought you know we needed help with the marketing and you 
know, like Spotify playlisting and stuff like that. Like we weren't, we we had no ties to any of that stuff. That's why we sort of, you know, started this label was that uh, it gave us some, you know, myself, it gave yeah. me a, a bit of help, a, a bit of a push as well. But also just to open up for our community and our and our, our city that, you know, we want to help artists the way that you know, um, other other artists have been helped through other labels, you know, yeah. like, like DB and and um, I think. Beauty, yeah, mm-hmm. Beauty, you know, a lot of labels out there. That's that's you know, doing that killing, thing. yeah, they're killing yeah. it, like you know, for for the for their community, for their people, and that's what we wanted to bring to Brisbane. I don't think there's many. And so far, it's working here. out. Yeah, it's doing good. Like it started the new year now, so we'll, we'll get a lot more artists. I think last year, we just signed the boys because, you know, one we know them, yeah, and two, um, just get us off our feet for now. But yeah, kick it now, out. Now we're gonna, you know, put our heads down and hectic. Yeah, get some. Uh, in saying that, yeah, all the boys are inside. I will grab them out for a few yeah. questions and oh, yeah, let's do it. Well, it's good. We're back. We got the four three. Um, I'm not gonna make you introduce yourself. So we're we got yeah, huh? seven eight. Yeah, oh, seven eight. Nice. <laughs> we got the West yeah. and everyone else, bro. Shout out Lord Lance in the back. We got Jr. Snoopy, Vix, Knox, Lord Lance. We good, Lissy? Yeah, yeah. yeah we all, bro, I appreciate yeah. you coming through yeah. for a bit yeah. of an interview, real quick. Let's go. How long have you really known each other, bro? Since the ball bags. Nah, not really. Nah, I don't know. We've just been mates since hey, high school days. High yeah, school? Yeah. So since young, young. Yeah. I've yeah. known, I've known yeah. Nox long, yeah. longer. Yeah. Was actually just guys. We go church together. For seven days. Good guys, bro. Met these guys at church. At the moment, school days, bro. School days. Yeah, pretty much, friends. I heard before you said like the West kicked off in JR's garage. Is that true? Yeah. Whose idea? Like how did it come back? He's there rapping, talking shit. What? What? What's he got? This kind of stuff. Yeah. Big fella here. Just something and nothing, bro. Yeah. But did you used to rap individually? Nah, never. I don't know, this guy, he did his little, little videos on Insta and then, yeah. They, they'll, they'll rap like drunk. <laughs> yeah. the, the drink ups and stuff, you see them freestyle and shit. Like. So who said, oh, let's get the boys together and form a group? Well, I got a message from Jake. Yeah. He sent me, he asked me if I wanted to jump on a track with um, him and the scene. That, that's when we made problems. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's good. But have you all got similar musical influences? Because you obviously got a, a similar sound to all your songs right now. Yeah, pretty much. Or you just come from different vibes. Mm. Oh, no. That's what yeah. like Samoan songs. Samoan yeah. songs, yeah. country music, man. Country yeah. music. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you get up and boost yeah, it. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. We're, 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 we're all over the place with our music, but. A bit heavy metal. Nah, I get fucked. <laughs> when are you going to introduce that? No, no, like yeah. you're sitting on a chair, that's a heavy metal. <laughs> 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 Nah, this is us, bro. We just find the long to see that. Nah, bro. Look, you can talk as much shit as you want, bro. (laughs) We're out here for that reason, bro. Good. The list out, man. DJ Rec out here, but he produced problems. Yeah. I think. Yeah, shout out Rec. Wake up, Rec. Wake up, Rec. It's still sleeping, bro. Wake up, Rec. Come on, bro. You're gonna be sleeping. Big nod. Um, he's produced all your songs since then? Yeah, all of them? pretty much. So is he one of the team? Is he pretty much one yeah. of the West? Oh yeah, yeah he's, much. he's the... Nah, nah, he's just our DJ. <laughs> <laughs> he can put a few beats he's together. Just, he's it. just the only producer we can afford. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Rick is cheap, mate. Rick is cheap. Basie, nah. only for you guys, you're not going to let him out then. Nah, bro, yeah, yeah, no, don't nah. hear Rekka yeah, up. Yeah, don't hear Rekka up. It's up to you, mate. Leave Rekka alone. Don't forget to make chicken sauce. Make chicken sauce. Problem. Problems was your, your first takeoff track, yeah? Yeah. A, a, here, a million less than four months. Yeah. Did you expect that? Look, you, you came to get in Jazz Garage, like you said, you were talking some shit that happened. Did you expect it to blow as big as it did ah. in that short amount of time? Well, we actually made the song in 2019. We yeah. dropped it to yeah. as audio. Not long as after I did Say Less, it was, it was dropped in October, November? Yeah, October? Sometime, yeah. yeah it was, it was, but when we came together and we, um, you know, we started, we got a manager, mm. um, Christian, uh, he was like, man, he's needed to do a video clip because you know we were just making music and uploading it to YouTube. Yeah, yeah. But when we did the video clip, I feel like, and uh, we redid the song as well. We re-recorded it in, a, in um, of our actual studio studio gears. Yeah. Um, that's when we were like, you know, uh, we we uploaded it properly, and and that's when it came out and started to pop off because people actually got to see uh, the yeah, song properly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The song properly, and yeah. 
but the vibe's changed since then. I think. That's what I was going to say, man. So since yeah. then, that was hard as hell, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you've seen, since then, you seem to find your own vibe. Mm. It's just positive, fucking good vibes, pretty much what we got here right now. Yeah. Well, well, I wouldn't say positive. I mean, you don't want your kids listening to us. Sex, drugs, and money. <laughs> Speaking of sex, drugs, and money, I heard you're all single. Who's engaged? Just for now. But yeah, so you switched up the vibe since problems. Was that you've come together and thought, this is what we want to do, or again, that came naturally? Sort of, it came naturally. It came naturally. It's like we all, we all we all got into that when we heard the big for good days. We were like, man, this is what we like, you know, what we would drink to. Yeah. And this, and I, I feel like a lot of. That's what we do every weekend. Yeah. Exactly. Like, <laughs> that's you. That's you. Yeah, real. A lot of people. A lot that's of people actually our, like our highest streaming song. Yeah. 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 I, I saw like two and a half mil, yeah, right? So you could obviously tell that it made yeah, a, a good impact. Like, yeah. We got no long term, like mm. long long term goals. We just like to drink. We have no ambition whatsoever. Just. No, um, we've got to talk about Friday, bro. That's the latest one, yeah? Yeah. What, yeah. what came first? The idea for the uh, the video or the audio? Because the video is <coughs> hectic. The audio was made like back good days. It was yeah. 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 Like two years ago. We yeah. made that song two years ago. It's Seal's, it's Seal's track. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Seal. Shout out to Seal. <laughs> <laughs> what took so long to do that video, bro? Because obviously the whole concept behind it was mad. And oh, we it's kind of relatable just, to a lot of people. That, yeah, we kind of just yeah, made it and then shelved it. Like, nah, we're fuck, we're waiting on this cunt to write his <laughs> fucking verse. Oh, right, that's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> 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 took too long, this guy. 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 Some people have jobs. Ah, uh, silly. Sure. <laughs> it's like 100. Yeah, now, but, yeah, with your mom. Well, when we got the video done, man. Shout out to the pasta, shout out to Red, you know. That's gonna, who, who knocks, did you face. put yourself up for getting knocked the fuck I out? Hate that fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Rough Pop. Shout out to Rough Pop. Kill the video, bro. Awesome. Nah, all in all, made for a mad video, bro. You make a mad priest pass. Fuck off. I don't know for sure. He's never seen a priest ever. He's the truest role to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the closest role to myself. That's your real life. And that part where he's holding the Bible is really the first time he's opened the Bible in years. In years. It's about time you found some Jesus, bro. We all need him. Ezra, bro, you got Ezra on a, on a track with you. How's it having a manager? You could just pull up and say, "Oi, get on a hook, bro." Yeah, hundred percent. That's it. Yeah. Even got also Lance on the track too. We yeah, got a bro. hustle. You know? It's good to be able to get the whole team involved. Yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. waiting for Christian Brown now. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd he go? Shaving his back. He's wanking and crying at the same time. <laughs> talk and talk, but, uh, yeah. Now, but uh, that's the good thing about us is because we're, we're all like a lot of these groups they form, but they weren't actually hanging out together before, it's which is why they like sort of fall off. Mm. But us, because we're, we're all so close, it's easy. You know, if you need someone on the track, you just ask them. Just say, "Bro, can you hop on, hop on this?" And we, you know, we're all gonna say yes. Hop on what? Eh? Hop on what? Hop on this. Uh, hop on this, please. Ah, uh, you played some live shows in Queensland. Yeah. I seen you travelled to Alice Springs last yeah, year. Bro. How was that? Have you been able to travel out of state already? Like you're pretty early on in your musical journey, you guys. Yeah. That was a bad over there. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> just, they, just, they, they, they didn't even go there. They don't want to talk about it. <laughs> We need right, details. Right, what's, what's, what happened to Alice Springs? <laughs> <they say>? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Tell us. Tell us. Yeah, well, uh, we, we signed the waiver. We can't oh, talk about uh, Darwin or Alice Springs. <laughs> well, that was the first. <laughs> Yeah. Right, that was your first taste of the tour. Hopefully, the uh, Dreams tour is going to kick off. Yeah. What can we expect from that? High energy, big drinks, talk shit. Yeah. What's good, yeah. It's a party, eh? It's a party. It's a party. Whole, big party. Yeah. Big party. A whole lot of cheating. <laughs> A whole lot of cheating. Everyone, <laughs> hit, hit them up. Uh, I'm not coming nah. in here. Nah. 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 I don't want any part of that. You got any collabs on the way <laughs> that we can talk about? I think we've got a song that we've got lined up. For chilling it, but we gotta hit him up first. Oh. Chilling it, I'll be listening. Chilling it, chilling it, chilling it, chilling it. Hurry up, bro! Fuck it, stop it. Hurry up! It's your best time, ASAP, bro. I asked Lissy this before, what about yourselves? He's got anyone that you actually wanna collab with? 
Oh. Anyone? Are you happy with yourselves? Bro? Also, Snoop Dogg. I want to play with you before you die. I ain't big, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We've got to get him on a Snoop line. He wants to collab with Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> Serious question between you all, who do you consider the best rapper? Get fucked. You already know! It depends on the subject. Of course, bro. It depends on the subject. We're talking about like the most sinister bars that you can come up with. Yes, this guy. When you got a guy who's willing to dress up in a priest suit. Yes, he can rap about weed. Most of rap about life. Snoopy rap about alcohol, we rap about food. We're taking shots oh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> right, we're talking about food. What's good up in Goodna? If anyone's coming out hey, to Goodna. Bobby's! Bobby's! Bobby's. 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 Let's go. Oh, I was trying to go grab me so today, Lissy told me it's closed down yeah, for the weekend. Ah, Renos, they're doing Renos. They're doing Renos. Renos, baby. Shout out, sweet boss. Yeah. What's next for all of you boys? Any of you trying to do individual shit or we're strictly keeping it the West? Nah, strictly. We've got, we've got, we've got an EP coming out. You got a whole EP? Yeah, that's the West, we've got an EP coming out, so. This year, mid year? Oh, this year. It's meant to be after the tour. It's meant to be after the tour. After the tour. Now that tour's pushed back, maybe we can like get away. Because the majority of the songs are done, but we just got to, you know. Uh, polish it and stuff, you know. Yeah. Do the, you know, just touch it up a little bit. Yeah. Nox, since you're here, bro. What are you trying to do, 2022, bro? We got a lot of people, huh? Let's get better. Get a lot, hopefully. What do you mean get better, bro? You got the vibes already. Come on, bro. Don't be modest. In the morning. Nah, bro. To be honest, that's really all I got for you guys, bro. Nice. Oh, I don't know, he's all a bunch of good blokes. <laughs> For the kids that are going to tune in, the ones that you said can't watch, give them a good message right now. Be yourself. <laughs> yeah, just say no to drugs. Just say no to drugs. No, no, do drugs. That's the best. <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> that's the best. Yeah, best. yeah just yeah, be yourself. You know, get, get a couple of good mates that you like to, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, rapping, rugby, drinking or whatever. Sure. Just make sure you got a good mates that you can trust and that you have a good time with. Yeah. Whatever you want to do, you've got the same minds that I think alike, you can go far. And just have fun, that's good the main thing. Uh, no. yeah, yeah, Alright bro, Don't well let's see for in the, in the Kite episode 2. Oh, here he is, here he is. Oh. <laughs> can I get there a camera real quick? Turn the camera to him. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 this is the yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's take flight, the West, Knox, Lord Lance. I appreciate you having me here up in Goodna, boys. Keen to see what comes from you. Cheers, bro.